वागीशजुषो बदने लक्ष्मीर्जस्सचबक्षशी जस्यास्तेहिदेशंभीत त्वम् निशिंगमहम् भजे हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे शतान प्रसंग्याद मामा वीर जसंग भी तो भवन तिरित करन रसायन कथा हाँ सज्जो शनात आसु अपवर्ग वत्मनि शत्या भक्ति रति रणु कर्मिष्यति शतान प्रसंग्याद मामा वीर जसंग भी तो भवन तिरित करन रसायन कथा हाँ तज्जो शनत आशु अपवर्ग वत्मनि सद्या भक्ति रतिस रनु क्रमिष्यति गौरीय गोष्ठी पति सिसिल भक्ति शिद्धांतु सरस्वति गुस्समें रख भुभा परमांशो जगतगुरु टोल बॉन्डेड सोल कैनॉट डू हरि भजन विदाउट वाचिंग वन आइडियलिज्म इन फ्रंट ऑफ him. Bonded soul, it is impossible for bonded soul to do bhajan, but it is possible, can be possible, if they can see one lightning example in front of them. If they can find one idealism in front of them, vivid example, vivid example, lightning example, his morality, Morality is spiritual, I mean devotional morality. Everything, whatever, by watching his serving mood, Siddhanta Vichar, character, everything, then bonded soul can get some inspiration. Also cannot get inspiration. Because in our life, we have seen so many devotees, our Guru Vargas, those who are following Prabhupada exactly, but still many of them could not follow them properly. So it, it depends upon luck. You know. So, Prabhupada Gauriya Goshti Bhati Sisila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswamita Prabhupada Paramahansa Jagadguru he told that only and only pure Guru Vaishnava can help you to cut material bondage. I mean, Prabhupada used to say, by serving pure Guru Vaishnava, you can cut material bondage and go ahead. Possible. Somebody wanted to question in front of Srila Prabhupada that from whom Parikhit Mara took initiation. Somebody wanted to put question in front of Prabhupada that Parikhit Maharaj took initiation from whom? We don't find any name. Only we see here, he, you know, Bhagavad Katha was there. I mean, Sukhdev was the speaker. He was a listener, hearing. Prabhupada speaking, what do you mean by initiation? What do you mean by initiation? Initiation means you can develop the procedure through which you can develop the Bhogyan. The definition of Diksha, the definition of Diksha is that Dibbo Gyan Yato Dadyat Dibbo Gyan Yato Dadyat Kuryat Papusha Sankshayam Diksha means you can develop the Bhogyan and you can cut all result of all sinful activities for infinity period. The Bhogyan Yato Dadyat Puriyat Papusha Sankshayam. Sankshayam means Sankshayam means from the very root cause you can eradicate. That is the procedure Gurudev Vaishnav can do it. Parikhid Maharaj, by the help of Bhagavad Katha, 
first point first point is that in the horoscope of parikshit maharaj it was written he is a mahabhagavat in the horoscope itself it was written that this maharaj this boy is mahabhagavat not one time first time in horoscope later on some rishi muni again two three times four times so esho mahabhagavata if he is already mahabhagavat that's mean he already have sambandha kya are also proper told by the help of hearing bhagavat katha by the hearing by the help of hearing hari katha there was no shortage of sambandha gyan i mean by the help of hearing hari katha sambandha gyan was there that's why he got sarup shuddhi this is very important point and in shastra many time we find that there is no diksha nothing but still that man getting big bhakti is very confusing it is very confusing how possible is not initiated nowhere but we find a big you know devotional mood there how it is possible this kind of situation we can see in bhagavatam and different places we find time to time we can discover such and also it is also is a big point that in chaitanya charitamrita it is written that hari naam itself is more than sufficient and diksha puraschcharan vidhi apekshana kare it is written diksha puraschcharan nothing you need hari 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 naam itself is complete and give you complete pleasure i mean even krishna prema this is confirmed by mahaprabhu himself in chaitanya charitamrita is written many time is confirmed that from hari naam you can get everything now with the bhakti everything you can get from hari naam mahaprabhu speaking and krishna prem also you can get now we are in confusion if hari naam can give everything then why we need to take take diksha that is the main problem we are facing bhakti mutta go speaking bhakti mutta go speaking that according to pancharatrik diksha we are getting initiation from guru vishnu to get ride in archan bhakti mutta go speaking kanishta adhikari can be divided in three gates first grade second grade third gate first grade second gate third gate first grade mean in archan in deity he can do it but he has no faith in guru vishnu completely but mahaprabhu consecutively for three years first years satyaraj khan his party satyaraj satyaraj khan his party usually going to meet with mahaprabhu chaturmasya vrat first year they are asking who is vishnu first year mahaprabhu speaking if you hear one krishna naam if you hear one krishna naam from anybody be sure he is vishnu second year again same question they wanted to put mahaprabhu speaking those who are doing continuously hari naam continuously be sure he is vishnu very nice vishnu third year also they wanted to put same question mahaprabhu again giving answer by watching you by watching whom by watching whom you can feel inspiration to speak out hari naam be sure is the topmost vishnu so first year second year third year three different kind of answer 
Bhakti Bhavan Thakur wanted to give, you know, judgment that when you are thinking about Kanishta Bhakta, Kanishta Bhakta in the first stage, Kanishta Bhakta in first stage, they never can do Harinam. Bhakti Bhavan Thakur speaking, Kanishta Bhakta in first stage, they can never speak Harinam. They can only speak Namabhas. Then why Mahaprabhu speaking this way? Bhakti Mata was speaking, well, in Kanishta Dika, in course of their, you know, do, bhajan, I mean, they are doing, trying their best. Finally, when someday can, they can speak out pure Harinam, one pure Harinam. Ek Krishna Nam Jar Mukhe. Mahaprabhu was speaking, one Krishna Nam, if you hear from somebody, be it pure, is actually Vaishnava, Mahaprabhu told. The Bhakti Thakur wanted to explain, that's when Mahapu wanted to say, Kanishtra Adhikari, when can speak pure Harinam, then he become, he can be given title, I mean, he can be called as Vaishnava now. After that, if he grow that kind of habit to speak that pure Harinam continuously, I mean, whenever he is speaking Harinam, that is pure Harinam, no contamination, no Namabhas, no Namabhas, no Namaparat, nothing, then he is Madhama Dikari, he is nice Vaishnava. Nice Vaishnava. He can speak all Sasva Siddhanta, everything, Harikatha. And when you can watch one pure Vaishnava by watching him, if you can automatically speak out Harinam, then he is Uttam Vaishnava, I mean, Number one, great Vaishnava is. This way Mahaprabhu wanted to say. Now, Dikha Purascharan Vidhi Apekshana Gauri, this is one kind of revolting Siddhanta. Then nobody can take Diksha, nobody can take Harin, and nobody can take Diksha Purascharan, cannot do. Bhakti Mantra was speaking, well, if you can find, according to his previous sanskar, if some devotee, Growing tremendous attraction for Harinam from the very beginning. Previous sanskar, he has strong faith in Harinam. He has strong faith in Harinam. He can believe that Harinam and Hari non different from each other. Hundred percent. When he believe, in that case Harinam can give complete result. That Mahaprabhu wanted to say. One Krishna Nam can cut all anatta everything and another Krishna Nam, when you speak, can give you an you know, Krishna Prem. So this is rare. Bhakti Manta was speaking, this is rare. If you have hundred percent faith in Harinam, that by Harinam I can get everything. Really so. Harinam itself complete. But Harinam means Hari. Harinam means Hari himself, so Hari itself complete, so what wrong in it? But we need to take Diksha because for infinity period we are rolling down with matters. So to cut matters first, we don't have that kind of strong faith. That's why Diksha is very important. When you can take Diksha, by the help of Pancharatik Diksha, you can cut all your go on chanting Diksha Mantra, I mean Gayatri, everything. Then you can cut all your material bondage and you can go in such a stage from where it is very more practical for you to realize what is Harinam, everything. I mean, even, you know, by mantra, by Taking mantra, we are getting kam gayatri, kam bij, everything. So, diksha is 100% diksha we need. But Bhakti Mantra was speaking, Harinam itself can give everything, no need of it. Harinam itself complete. Now, Harinam is itself complete and different glorification of Bhagavan and Harinam glorification also, I already told in Bhagavad Ji Mahapurana. 
and Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran itself equal to Krishna. Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran equal to Krishna. Shakshat Krishna Evahi. About Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran it is written that Shakshat Krishna Evahi. Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran is Krishna. So after hearing all the glorification of Krishna and Krishna Nam, Etatni Brittamananam Ichatam Akuto Vayam Jogi Nam Nipa Nirnatam Hare Namanu Kirtanam. And the last, you know, you hear Nama Sankirtanam Yasu Sarva Papa Panasanam Pranama Duksha Samanam Tang Namami Harim Pandis Vayvay. So throughout the Bhagavatam, it is written in different sastra the adi in the beginning in the middle and in the end everywhere you can get the glorification of hari and harina everywhere so parikhit maharaj after hearing after hearing bhagavat bhagavaji mahapran from sukhdev goshai mahar paramansa sreshto everything was complete so where from he has taken diksha, this question is absurd question. First point, Sukhdev Goswami is Paramahansa Sesto topmost, Paramahansa Sadhu. So this kind of question is absurd. In course of his hearing Bhagavad Katha, diksha was complete. Prabhupada told his diksha was totally complete. Shammanda Gyan, Ovidya, Prajan, everything was complete. That's why there is no question of this kind of point, useless. Now in different Shastra, time to time we can discover that, time to time we can see, there is no Diksha, nothing, but only by the help of Satsanga, they are growing Bhakti. This is also confusing for us. But past two days I was discussing and the slok today I dis I already I started with the sloka. You try to calculate what is what is spoken in the sloka, try to hear. Shatang Prasangyat, first of all, by the association of pure devotees, Satang Prasangyat. Mama Birja Sangbido Bhavanti Hitkaruna Rasayana Katha. By the, if you are going to get the association of pure sadhu, you can hear all nice pure Harikatha Kirtan. First, second point. So, Satang Prasangyad Bhavanti Hitkaruna Rasayana Katha. To Joshanath, if you go on drinking that Harikatha by ear, to Joshanath, Asu, Asu means immediately, Asu means not after, Asu, Asu means immediately. So, Satan, Prasangyad, Mamavir, Jo Sangbid, Bhavanti, Ritkarna, Rasayana, Katha, to Joshanath, Asu, Apavarga, Batmani, Shradhya, Bhakti, Rati, Ranu, Kramishati. Now, my question is that, in this sloka of Bhagavatam, there is nowhere it is written that you will have to take diksha. There is written diksha, no diksha. Only it is written, only it is spoken that Shatang Prasanga, by good association, pure association, you can develop this kind of tremendous you know, feeling and you can automatically move towards bhakti. First of all, Shadhya. Bhakti Ranukramishati. In gradual course, it is wonder. We know that after taking bhakti, after taking diksha, we can do bhajan. After that, we can get. But here it is written, no question of diksha. Shatang prasangyad mamavir jasangvida bhavanti ritkaruna sayana kata ta jyoshana asu apavarga vatmani sradhya bhakti rati ranukramishati. How it is that possible? That is why perhaps, that is the reason why Mahaprabhu wanted to say five limbs of bhakti most important. One is Sadhu Sangha, uh, one is Sadhu Sangha, second is, you know, uh, Mathura Bhas, third Nam Sankirtan, uh, after that what? Uh, 
Srimuti Srujjhaya, seven, eh? and Bhagavad Katha Srovan, five. First, Satsanga, Harinam Sankirtan, Srimuti Srujjhaya, seven, Mathurabhas, and Bhagavad Srovan. E pachir alpo sango. You don't know Bengal, if you know, you can go mad. It is written, a slight association, slight, exact, exact, slight association can give you ultimate success. Also it is wonder, it is written that Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Sastra Koi, Lava Matthu Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Siddhi Hoi, Sarva Siddhi Hoi, Sarvasiddhi means, Bhakti Mithaku wrote in commentary, Amritabha Bhashya, Sarvasiddhi means, even you can get Krishna Prem. It's wonder. Lava Matu Sadhu Sange, one second divided by eleven, that much time, can give you Krishna Prem also. Bhakti Mithaku speaking, yes. Bhakti Mithaku writing, yes. Lava Matu Sadhu Sange, Sarvasiddhi hoi. Bhakti Mithaku what he say, that means you can get even Krishna Prem, which is very rare for Sankar Brahma. The, now miracle. All those Siddhanta Vichas, one by one, if we like to tally, reconcile, then we can come to this decision, Siddhanta Vichar, that Sadhu Sangha, if in your life, if, if in your life, Sadhu Sangha is perfect Sadhu Sangha, perfect sadhu sangha, then that sadhu sangha itself can give everything. Same point, what Mahaprabhu told, what is Chintu Chaitanya Charitamita, what is written, that Diksha Purascharan Vidya Apekhyana Kare. It is written, Diksha Purascharan Vidya Apekhyana Kare. Harinam can give everything. So, why you cannot understand the sadhu guru Vishnab, they are the source of Harinam. Source of Harina. So, if it is written in Chaitanya Charitamrita that by Harinam itself complete, and by Harinam, if you do, I mean, the condition I already told, full, you will have to fulfill all condition, not that you can uh, start argument. So, if Harinam can give me complete success, and those Sadhu Guru they are the source of Harinam, why they cannot give success? It is like, like mathematics. Like mathematics, if A is equal to B, B is equal to C, C is equal to D, then A must be equal to D. Common, common sense. So, that kind of good association, it is one kind of revolting Siddhanta. But it is true. It is true. Lava Matto Sadhu Sangha Sarva Siddhi Hoi, what, what is possible for me through Diksha procedure? I can take Diksha, do Anugatva, Guru Patudma, go ahead, do Harinam, everything. But itself, Satsanga can give everything. Satsanga can give everything complete. My, I mean, what I mean to say, in Satsanga, all Diksha, all, everything, all inserted, included. You can, you cannot believe how possible, I mean, what is possible through Dikha procedure? What is possible for you through Dikha procedure, that can be possible only through Satsanga. Because you cannot calculate. Through Satsanga, all your submission, taking shelter, doing bhajan, all rapidly can be done, very fast. It's a miracle. Even after taking diksha, I know somebody has taken diksha 25 years, 30 years, 40 years. Even after taking diksha, they are not coming out successful. Even after taking diksha, they are not successful. Even after 50 years of taking Diksha, they are going deviated from Guru Padma, fall down, only getting Pratishta, 
this is decadent. So through diksha, if we approach, if, you have, if our procedure is not scientific, perfect, to the point, then there is every point of, there is possibility of fall down. But from your heart, if you are doing satsanga, from your heart, by chance you are getting satsanga, that satsanga, so powerful that all the procedure which all are expected through Diksha, otherwise how possible? Otherwise how Kopilji Maharaj, I mean Bhagavan speaking, that Satang Prasangyat, there is no question of any Diksha. Only reason, Satang Prasangyat, you can by Sadhu Association, you can get here Harikatha, and is so powerful Harikatha, you can gradually step into Shraddhya, Bhakti, Rati, Ranukramishati, which is very rare. And even Mahaprabhu also speaking in Chaitanya Charitamitra. That Harinam can give you full success, I mean Krishna Prema also. You can open Chaitanya, I can show you so many points. Mahaprabhu speaking. So that's mean, it is really... So yesterday I was speaking, so yesterday I was speaking, Bhagavan Sikh is now speaking, I mean to Uddhavji Maharaj. Bhagavan Sikh is now speaking to Uddhavji Maharaj. So five different kind of lines, Bhagavad Katha, Sravan, first of all Sadhu Sangha, Nam Sankirtan, Bhagavad Katha Sravan, Srimurti Shraddha Sravan, Mathurabhas, all five Mahaprabhu speaking, a pacher alpo sangho. Slight, if you are going to get benefit from this kind of association, can give you complete success. Mahaprabhu himself speaking. So, Bhagavan wanted to speak to Uddhavji Maharaj about bhakti, how to do, what to do. All previous days, I was discussing about this, different point. Bhagavan Sikhisnus wanted to speak to Uddhavji Maharaj, Prayena Bhakti Yogena Satsangena Vino Uddhava No Payo Vidyate Sadhrak Prayanam Hi Satamaham. Hey Uddhav, if somebody is going to get bhakti out of pure association, pure association, exact association, Bhagavan speaking, Hey Uddhav, if somebody getting bhakti out of satsanga, pure satsanga, satsanga jata bhakti, without, there is so many procedures to get bhakti. I already told now, broto, chapasa, everything, so many I told yesterday, you can remember. Bhagavan spoke, you know, ishtapurti, so many. But Bhagavan speaking, that this is very special. If you are going to get bhakti by the help of satsanga, this is very, very important. Because this kind of bhakti can give you constant memory. You can develop loveful relationship with me. So Bhagavan speaking, na rodhayati maam yogo na shancham dharma evacha na sadhayo stapas tyago nesta purtam na dakshina. Vratani jagya chandangsi tirthani niyama yamaha yatha avarundhe satsangaha sarvo sangya paho hi maam. Sarva Sangya Apohi Maam. Bhagavan speaking, Yoga cannot satisfy me. If you follow the procedure of Yoga, or if, Vasudya, if you are going to follow the procedure of Shankho, Shankho Gyan, Shankho Dharma Evacha, or if you are going to follow Sadhai, every day you are going to recite. Bhagavatam or Veda, Vedanta, everything is said. This is also a mode of bhakti. Bhagavan speaking. No sadhayas tapo stago. Tapo tapasya you can do. 
stago, dedication you are doing to do. Ne purtam. Ishta purtimani you are going to make different kind of, you know. Ishta purti mean actually if you can make one tank. Tank mean or, you know. Actually, tank mean so that outside people can drink water or beasts and birds they can also. Also you can find in Mindavan. Somebody making some tank in road, full of water, some beasts and birds coming, gomata, drinking. Also you can make some, and a pond, you can cut pond or dig some well, follow, different kind of, different kind of broto you can, different kind of broto you can follow. Yagya you can do, different kind of yagya, chandyangsi. Chandangsi means the Veda, you can recite Veda. You can go to travel different Tirtha pilgrimage. Tirthani, Niyama, Yama. You are following strict rules and regulation. Astrology and pronounce everything. Yama means you are going to self control, different. Bhagavan Pising, you can do, but all those procedures cannot uh, satisfy me completely. Those can do something. Yatha avarunde satsangha. But by sadhu sangha, if you are going to get my bhakti, that is more and more practical. So yatha avarunde satsangha, by the help of satsangha, you are going to get so much benefit. That kind of benefit you can, cannot get by following this procedure. What I, one by one, I told. Because satsanga can eradicate, pure satsanga can eradicate the root cause of your asasanga. Like, like yesterday I told, the mother of Kopilji Maharaj asking, our Kopilji Maharaj already gave answer, all sango yo sangsate hetu ho, different kind of association in this material world ultimately can put us in bondage. Sangu jo sangsitar hetu, I mean any kind of association you are getting in the material world ultimately can put you in bondage. So sangu jo sangsitar hetu asat su bhihitu diya. Asat because all, because there are nothing eternal here. But, this kind of Sangha, if you can do with some sadhu, Sangha yo sangsita hetu asasya vihita diya, shayevo sadhu sukrita ha, nishanga taya kalpate. Nishanga taya kalpate mean, you can be, you will be elevated in such a stage, where material, you know, three modes of nature cannot touch you, and you can, Establish your, you can get established in Shuddha Shatha. Follow. You can, you can discover yourself in Shuddha Shatha Bhumika. Material qualities no more can put you in trouble. So, Sangha Jo Sanskriti Hetu Ho Asasya Bhito Dhiya Shaiva Sadhusu Krtaha Nishanga Taya Kalpati. Nishanga means no material association. Nishanga means no material association. Nishanga also means you are going to get a prakita association. Nishanga means material association of, material association totally of, and Nishanga also can mean that you are getting a prakita sangha. It's possible. So, Bhagavan speaking, Jatha, jatha Avarundhate. By satsanga, you can conquer me very easily. Jatha avarandata satsanga sarvo sangya apaho himam. And after that, Bhagavan giving example, not that philosophy. Bhagavan also going to give example. Bhagavan speaking, you see, satsanga nahi. Daityaya yatudhana mrigaha khagaha gandharva apsharo nagaha siddhas charano gujakaha 
vidyadhara manushyeshu vaishyaha shudraha striyanta yaha rajas samaha prakrutayus tasmin tasmin juge anagha he anagha he nispap you are nispap you are very pure so i am going to unveil the mystery to you that only by satsanga many demons daityaha yatu dhanaha rakshas mrigaha mrigaha eh khaga hmm pashu pakshi many and gandharbo apsaroso nagaha hello siddha charana guhya kaha eh they all vidyadhar and many manushya shubhaishaha shudraha even shudra sri anta yaha rajastama prakriti yo originally they are contaminated with they were originally they were contaminated with rajastama gun rajastama prakriti yo tasmin tasmin yuge anagha they all were successful to get me बहुबो मत्पद प्राप्ता त्रष्टो कया धवादयु वृषपरबलिर्वाणुमयश्चाथ विभीषण शुग्रुभो हनुमृक्षो गजो गृद्ध वनिकोपत व्याद कुब्जा व्रजे गप्पो यज्ञ पत्न तथा परे ते नाधीत सुतिगना ते नाधीत सुतिगना नोपासी तो महत्तम अब्रत तप्त तपस तपस सत्संगत्म उपागत भगवान स्पीकिंग बहुबो मेनी मेनी सच एग्जाम्पल आई कैन गिव यू बहुबो मत पदम प्राप्त दे ऑल वाई आर सक्सेसफुल टू रीच माई लोटस फीट बहुबो मत पदम मत पदम प्राप्त दे वर सक्सेसफुल टू गेट माई लोटस फीट बहुबो मत पदम प्राप्त त्रष्टो कया धवाद हो त्रष्टानंदन वृत्तो त्रष्टो कया भव कयाधु कयाधु नंदन कयाधु नंदन प्रहलाद महाराज द नेम ऑफ मादर ऑफ प्रहलाद महाराज कयाधु यू नो कयाधु नेम ऑफ मादर ऑफ प्रहलाद महाराज कयाधु कया धवाद जैसे लाइक वी से भगवान स्पीकिंग इन गीता ही इज स्पीकिंग टू अर्जुन इज स्पीकिंग कंथियो कंथियो वाई कंथियो बिकॉज गोइंग टू रिलेट द नेम ऑफ मादर टू ग्लोरीफाई हिम लाइक वी से हे सचिनंदन अरे यू कैन स्पीक गोर नो महामार भगवान बिकम मोर सेटिस्फाइड इफ यू स्पीक द नेम ऑफ फादर मादर यू नो रिलेट हे सचिनंदन यू Eh? Then, this is the reason for why it is written. Kunti, the name of Kunti Devi. I mean the mother of Arjun. So Bhagwan speaking, relating the name to glorify him. He Kantiyo. Also Arjun speaking. He, you know, different name. भगवान स्पीकिंग टू अर्जुन सब साची डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइम टू टाइम डिफरेंट नेम महाबाहो डिफरेंट डिफरेंट नेम सो बहुबो मत प्रदम प्राप्त त्रास्टो कया धवा दयो हो आदयो हो सो एक्चुअली त्रास्टो मीन त्रस्टा नंदन इन सिक्स कैंटो इट इज रिटिन i already told how demigods and everybody going to make some network in that network they are they are themselves caught follow so i already told that indra maharaj samau gurudev was insulted by him he so gurudev gone after that he wanted to accept some guru because at present guru is not there bishwarup and you arranging jagya network in jagya there was some fallacy he could discover he is going to uh, give the share swaha swaha in 
fire, swaha. He is going to discover who oh, is going to offer to maternal, you know, uncles, you know. So he become very angry and to cut the throat. He was in problem. Again he ran here and there. This way, network going on. Finally, you can discover the Bittasur came out of fire. So I am not going in details, you know everything. So that Bittasur in the battlefield, that, that Bittasur in the battlefield, fearful fighting going on. But there, Bittasu speaking all Bhagavad Tattva Vigyan. A demon, how possible can. How possible? A demon, how possible can speak Bhagavad Tattva Vigyan? It's not possible. So there is confusion. But no, conf no confusion. Because we can know Siddhanta Vichar that at present he is Bittasu. But previous life, who, who he was, he was actually Chitta Ketu Raja, King Chitta Ketu. Chitta Ketu Raja. Chitta Ketu Raja got the association of Naraji Maharaj, great sadhu. And you can remember when Chitta Ketu Raja was just mad. Because the only son gone from this world, he was almost gone, lost. In that case, Naraji Maharaj came with Angira Rishi both and wanted to explain Bhagavad Tattva Vigyan, Atma Gyan. You can remember, you forget. You forget, no? When the boy gone, then king going almost going to make, commit suicide crying so heavily that everything lost. But the king is so powerful. All over the world he is the only king. So powerful. But that king now so weak. We know many such cases. Like Pururova. He can defeat everybody. But that Pururova, when in Maya, weak. So the conclusion is there. Whenever you are in Maya, then you are weak. When you are out of Maya, then you can get stout figure. Siddhant, when you are out of Maya, no Maya is going to touch you. Tattagyan fully there inside your heart, glowing. Tattagyan, who can put you in trouble? Nobody can do. Eb, who can cheat me? Who can cheat me? So me. Many body wanted to cheat me, put in trouble, so many, they are planning so that I can be in problem, they can give poster, the same Baba is such and such, but they couldn't do anything. They tried their best. Because Guru Pat Padma Prabhupada giving me, they are planning. They are planning nice way, so plotting that it is impossible for anybody to realize what kind of, uh, you know, result you can meet with. But if I am in touch with Gurudev and Prabhupada, no father can put you in put me in trouble. Not possible. When Maya coming in me, if Maya coming in, in me, then I can grow. So I can show you countless such examples from different sastras. I can show you that they are Pururava weak, Nahush Raja, you know Nahush was so powerful, who was given the post of Indra for the time being when Indra was absconding. Indra absconding, no? That time he was given. That the nose fall down as a python. So whenever you go grow Maya, Maya Kama, then you are weak. No Kama touching your heart, no father in the world can do anything. Maya there, enjoying mood, you are weak. So Pururava was weak. Jajati was weak. Eh? Who not? Everybody. Weak. So you see, now 
this great Maharaj, so powerful Maharaj, Chittu Kaju Raja become weak. It's the illusion. Illusion can come in the form of small baby. Illusion can come in my life in the form of some woman, wife. Illusion can come in my life as in the form of money, property, land. Illusion can come in my life in the form of pratishtha. Which way? Which way illusion can come? Bhagavan cannot give me information. Bhagavan is clever. Only can test me. Can send Maya and you will have to. You know. This way in any form. La puja patishta, any form can come. So, you will have to be very careful. So, in the life of Chittaketu Raja, Maya illusion coming in the form of small boy. Otherwise, he could realize that this boy now going anywhere. People can, any, any job, Jivatma can take birth and go away. This is quite natural. So, when Sivas Pandit going to lose his son, you see the example. But Sivas Pandit was not upset. Sivas Pandit was not at all upset because illusion Maya cannot touch him. On the contrary, Sivas Pandit speaking to wife and all Mataji is there. If you are not going to stop crying, I can go and jump into Ganga. I can. Stop it. When Mahaprabhu Param Paratpara Kirishar Bhagavan himself dancing in my you know, Natta Mandir. This kind of opportunity I want, I crave, I am craving to Bhagavan. You arrange my death, you arrange my death when Bhagavan can dance here. This is the topmost opportunity. Bhagavan dancing here, all devotees dancing here. Srivast is speaking, I want to get this kind of opportunity to leave my body. Why you are crying? I want to get this kind of opportunity. Bhagavan can dance or devotee can dance. I like to leave my body. But I am not getting. That Jivatma is so lucky and you are like foolish crying. So you see, Maya illusion could not touch the heart of Sivas Pandit. But here, Chittagaju Raja is overwhelmed by Maya. While giving benediction, while giving benediction, that time already Angarishi told, you are going to such we are, you are going to get such a baby which can that baby can give you both pain and pleasure. Already told in the beginning, but he cannot remember. He only wanted to get some baby. But Angiraj said, Okay, well, by power is giving. But he told that by the help, that baby, that some baby you can get, surely. But you can get both pain and pleasure. But he couldn't pay attention to the word. What? He not asking, what do you mean? He is so enjoying. Oh, I can get baby. That is the final. He is not asking, what do you mean by this word? He is not asking because of Maya. Oh, I can get baby. But now it come true. Already he told, you are going to get such a baby, which can, and that baby can be the cause of your pain and pleasure, both. Now pain, pleasure already gone, now pain is waiting for you. Finally what happened? He was given Tattva Jnana by, by whom? Same thing. Like in Sivas Pandit, Sivas Angina, Mahaprabhu calling, Hey Jivatma, come. Why you are going away? That Jivatma coming inside the boy, I mean Sivas Pandit's son, and speaking, Prabhu, here all my uh, transaction over. All transaction here is over, I like to follow, I have to go ahead. Same thing. Naraji Maharaj and they call Jivatma, why you are going away? He is big king. He can enjoy. 
you are the son of this big king, Chittaketu Raja. Why are you are going? Oh, Maharaj, all transaction over here. What to get, what not to get, all over here. No, I am. This is my status of Jivatma. A small boy speaking. Life coming and the boy speaking. Well, hey, why you are going? He's a great king. You have the opportunity to enjoy your life here. He's a Chittaketu Raja. Come on. They are small and a Jivatma speak, what I can do? All transaction over. Who is father? Who is mother? Who is father? Who is mother? Huh? All gone. Every life I can get. I am not going to some other place. Then Chittakati Raja stop crying and get back his power. Because Tattagyan from the lotus mouth of Sadhu was more than sufficient to give backing so come back to his own position and also you can remember that he was successful to meet with Bhagavan Sankarshan one mantra was given to him seven days seven night within seven days he's chanting the mantra you are successful to meet with Bhagavan Bhagavan Sankarshan is Guru follow Sankarshan. So this way, you see, first of all, we meet with Bhagavan. After that, from Bhagavan, he is getting so many Siddhanta, I mean, Tattva Vigyan, Guru. I mean, Sankar Bhagavan and Chittagati Raja, both are God brothers to each other. So, anyway, so that Chittagati Raja, when someday flying to some other place by plane. Plane means chariot. In the meantime, he discovers Sankar Bhagavan sitting with wife here in the left hand side, Parvati, and speaking Harikatha, Tattva Vigyan to all Monirishis. Because those Monirishis, they have full idea, complete idea, who is Sankar, they never mind. But usually it is prohibited. Wife is there, what is how you are speaking Harikatha? But you should remember, one should not imitate Sankar Bhagavan. That's the same thing written in Bhagavad Gita Mahaprabhu. Except Sankar, who is capable to drink poison, one drop of drink I can give. What to speak of Halagal this way. I can give one drop. Not even one drop, one pinch. You can, immediately you can dry. It is written in Bhagavatam. Except Sankar, who is capable to drink all poison. So, same thing. So, if Sankar Bhagavan is staying with left hand side wife, Shankar Bhagavan always wants to prove that, look, I am not sadhu. But where is this Paramahansa sadhu? Pure sadhu, always they have their mood to express such a mood. They are going to prove that I am not sadhu. Never. It is the nature. Their activities, their siddhanta, they are all can prove they are sadhu. They themselves never tell. Popat never tell, told, Bhaktivinoda Thakur never told, none of our Guru Bhargava never told that we are sadhu. Never. But their activities, everything proved that they are sadhu. So it was the nature of Sankar Bhagavan to prove that I am not sadhu. So accordingly they are doing. But that Chittakati Raja wanted to make some joking with him. Well, he is Paramansa, Jagat Guru. He is sitting with wife left hand side. What is this? He is speaking Harikata. Eh? How is that possible? This kind of only this kind of remark, nothing else. Shankar Bhagavan could realize by the Vaishnavas, they understand the heart of Vaishnavas. Shankar Bhagavan wanted to prove that look, I am not Vaishnava, I am not Sadhu. Whereas in Bhagavatam it is confirmed that Nimnaganam Yatha Ganga Devanam Achuto Yatha Vaishnavanam Yatha Sambhu Purananam Pridam Bhagavatam. Where it is written, you saw anybody? Even in Bhagavatam, one Mahaprabhu tells the topmost document. 
Mahapujyanda Srimad Bhagavatam Pramana Mamalam Pema Pumartha Mahan. Bhagavaji Mahapur is the topmost evident. evident. So where it is confirmed that Sankar Bhagavan is Paramahansa. So how you can cut? It's confirmed, no? Nimnugahanam Yatha Ganga, Devanam Achyutu Yatha, or Vaishnavanam Yatha Sambhu. If you like to find one Vaishnav like Sambhu, I mean Vaishnav Raj Sambhu is one example. Idealism. Of course, it's very secret. Openly, people can understand. All he is staying in crematorium ground, uh, using all dust, you know, of the crematorium gown, I mean, ass in the whole body cannot prove that he is Vishnu. That's mean he wanted to, he always wants to hide himself. It is the nature of pure devotees. You should remember, you should remember one pure devotee, is, it is the nature of pure devotees. They like to hide themselves. Well, I'm nothing, no, you go there. I know. In Vrindavan, Radha Kun, he, lo he loved me very much. Big Vedantist. He is the topmost Vedantist in our Gauriya Vaishnava society, I would say it. In our at present societies. Follow. He is staying in Radha Kun. He wrote Vedanta books explanation this much. This much. One, two, three, four. Follow. But he always wants to hide himself. I went there to meet with. Follow. He know me. Point is that he is leading his life in such a way which is in, in, inconceivable. He is not taking anything from anybody, nothing. How to avoid? If anybody coming, Maharaj, I like to get. You go there. Radha Kund Babaji, big Baba, you go there. It's great. I'm nothing. I know nothing. But I know. Yes, Sachin. I don't like to name one organization in Sital Chaya. I don't like to name. He wanted to prove himself as the topmost pandit in our Vaishnav society. He wanted to prove. But that devotee, though he is not from Goryamat, he is not from Goryamat, but still his behavior, his character, his activities, his writing, Siddhanta Vijaya, all in line with our Prabhupada, I mean Guru Varga. He wrote one article about my Guru Maharaj. When 100 years completion, I mean 100 years of celebration, birth, birth anniversary, he wrote article. He wrote article. So those pure sadhu I know, they never want to identify themselves. They say, we are nothing, who go there? He go there. I told you, na, in, in, in Gopinath Gera, all Pandit Samaj came to give confer one big title to one Baba Ji, Baba, who was a Vedanta. When they approach him, they become very angry. He become very angry, go away, go away. Only they wanted to get Kipa of Vedanta, nothing else. Those who are reciting Bhagavatam, Mahabhagavat, they, they never want to earn name and fame. Whereas they can do very easily. Whereas they can do it very easily, nobody can make any competition with them. If they like to start competition, nobody can stand in front of them. But they never like to do it. They can sing nicely, they can do anything, they can everything, but they are not. Nothing. Because only they want Kripa of Srimad Bhagavatam. Because Bhagavatam is Krishna himself. By reciting Bhagavatam, by thinking, they want to only want to get Kripa. Nothing else. No money, no position, nothing. Can you discover any title in the life of Prabhupada? Prabhupada could, Prabhupada could collect so many titles, so many title. He was the topmost in, in you know, ast astrology, astrological research. He was you know, some thesis also there. 
He could get doctorate, he could get, you know, Bhagavata Acharya or Bhagavata Ratna, so many titles. Never, you cannot find. He never wanted to get. Even he wanted to hide himself by avoiding, by avoiding material education. He could easily get all material education, uh, a skyscraper, but wanted. Oh, if I go to material education, people can make some problem with me. They can know I am not educated, they cannot come, go there. Follow. This way, what I wanted to say, by this association of Naraji Maharaj, he was successful to get Tattva Vigyan. After that, one special mantra, he got Sankarsan, from Sankarsan, he got Kipa, I mean Sankarsan is, you know, all everything teachings, got Prasangasana. So now, in the form of Vrittasura, in the form of Vittasur, though he is getting the body of a demon, though externally he is getting the body of demon, but internally that Atma is there. I mean, that Chittaketu Raja is there, who was a great devotee. Pashupakki hoye thaki swargeva niraye. Tava bhakti rohu bhakti binodo hidai. Bhakti Muttaka wrote, It matters little if I am going to travel through birds, birds and beads journey, but still I need your bhakti. That means bhakti is possible to stay inside animal also. Animal also, like Gajendra I can speak. Also I can come. I can explain how possible. Because bhakti is the natural function of your soul. Bhakti is a natural function of your soul, not the natural function of your body and material mind. Bhakti is the natural function of your soul. So somebody speaking, how it is possible that Vittasur committed offense unto the lotus feet of Sankar Bhagavan. He spoke this way. That's why he was cursed by Devi. But this is totally wrong Siddhanta. Vishra Jagotibad, all other committed a big big. They are speaking. Chittaketu Raja never committed any offense unto lotus, lotus feet of Sankara. It was one kind of joking with God Brother. But Devi Maya, Bhagavati, took it seriously. But Sankara didn't think it necessary to reply. Whenever altercation to altercation, I cannot say when Devi Maya become angry, but Chittagadu not speaking anything. He is silently with humble mood, shrugging head, paying pranam. I am coming to you to pay pranam unto your lotus feet. Not because I am not paying pranam and begging for kipa, not because you can cut the curse you have given to me. No, your curse is okay. You have given curse okay. I am not going to request you that you can, you can take, ba take back your curse. I am just here to pay you pranam because you are Vaishnavi, no? Devi is Vaishnavi. I'm going to pay and pranam. And begging for kipa that, okay, I can accept your curse. Accept your cards. No problem. Pashupakki hoye thaki sargeva niroye tava bhakti rohu bhakti vinode hidai. Vittasur also, if you can go through the chapter, you will have to go under the guidance of pure Guru Vishnu. Shangsar chakra bhamataha shakaramavi is going to pray, Prabhu, according to my karma fall, I can travel through different journey. But it is my request, I like to get the association of your devotee. Because association of your devotee can give me complete. By, by, by all other bhajan procedure, I mean limbs of bhajan, 
you can get complete or cannot get complete. But through exact satsanga, you can get all complete. Follow. Now all commentators, including Vishwanath Chakotibhas, Siddha Samipad, all speaking, no, there was no offense. It was only one kind of joking. But Devi Maya took it very seriously. Was, she was very ex excited. If there, if there is at all any offense, then the, how is possible devotion? I mean, bhakti can stay. Look, because by offense we know, if you are going to do offense, then you can lose your consciousness level. Everybody knows. Oh, oh, if you are doing offense, na, you can lose your consciousness. Even day by day, you can lose your consciousness level, 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 so level, from human being, you can take the form of insects. It is written in Chaitanya Chaitanya. It is written. You can take the form of trees, of Kripa, you can, because otherwise how possible? Naraji Maharaj giving cars to uh, Nal Kubar. How possible? They are human beings. They are already demigods. By the cars, they are entering into Briksha Jani, Briksha trees. So possible? In Jaiva Dharma also, your consciousness level, if day by day, if you are doing offense, then all your consciousness level can drop so much that even there is every possibility that you can enter into Briksha Jani or even lower than that. Insect, mosquito, you can do. Every possibility. So if at all there was offense, so if at all there was offense done by Chittakadu Raja, then why he is not going to lose consciousness? Same concern, level, same thing there. Same devotional mood, he is going to pray. Ajata Pakshayva Matarang Khaga Bassam Yatak Bassat Ma Ma It is written that Ajata Pakshayva Mataram Khaga Ajata Pakshayva Mataram Khaga Bassam Yata But I say all the time I speak. <laughs> Uh, uh, for milk, small baby, I mean calf, trying to reach mother. So, Priya Priya Vishitam Vishitam Vishanya Manaha Aravindaksham Manaha Aravindaksham Diddikshita. Stanyam yatha vasataram khudartha. Okay. So it is written, Ajata pakshaiva mataram khaga, Stanyam yatha vasataram khudartha, Piya piyeva vishitam vishanya, Manoha aravindakshad diddikshetam. I like to see the lotus feet of Bhagavan. Aravindakshahe Prabhu. I like to see your lotus feet. I am feeling tremendous attraction. Like one small, you know, bird, chi chi chi, shouting, eh, to get some food from mother. When mother can fly and come, something and put in, oh, small, no flying wing is not there. In the nest, resting and crying. When mother can again can give some fruits, a water, whatever, cannot go, waiting for mother to come and give. Ah, uh, is shouting and stanyam yathava sataram khudartha to get the breast milk, calf crying when when the uh, milkman milkman can allow me to go because they are tiding, they are tiding not allow ah uh, ah uh, shouting to go to mother to drink milk very hungry and priya priyevo like one lady love. And you know, one man is separated from Lady Love. They both of them they are feeling strong pain for each other. It is sustainable. This example given by Kavi Kalidas, one one Kavi is a material Kavi. But in, in the whole world he is famous. But material Kavi. 
Make Dut Kumar Sambhavam, a Kabba. Yeah? One Jaksha, he was, given puni he was given punishment for the lapse of his duty as a gardener. He is staying in Himalaya and married recently, but due to lapse of duty, he was sent to a very lonely place. He was exiled, sent like Napoleon Bonaparte. He was sent, and they are alone. Nobody there, ah, crying. How oh, I, can, I can live without my lady love? Crying, and like mad, night time, full moon, he is talking with the cloud. Oh, you are flying. Maybe you are going to my lady love. You can give this information. This is happening. It is called love of passion. It is called love of passion. We read in our boyhood, the different writers, it is called love of passion. Love of passion can put you in such a situation that your lady love or the... On, uh, no problem, but if... Uh, Four o'clock he is supposed to come, five o'clock over, oh my God, maybe some accident there. It's happening. Because you have love, na? Object of love, so you are like this way. So, when you are in love of passion, then automatically you cannot realize that the cloud is material thing. Oh no, you can say all chetan. Oh cloud, can you inform, you are going that way, na? You can inform to my I know, wife, I mean, my lady love this way. This is a nature. Or going to get the association of lady love through, but now surely my lady love watching towards this full moon. And I'm also looking the full moon. This way we are getting the association. Man, he is looking to the full moon there in the sky. And he is thinking, surely my lady is also watching. So this way, getting the association, loveful. So it is natural. So it is quite natural. This is called love of passion. Here, Bittasur going to express such a mood that Indra gone mad. Indra said, how possible? You are demon, but you are demon, but I find that as if somebody, some Mahapurush speaking, all Tattva how possible? You are demon. Indra was bound to speak this way. Jada Asura Bhavam Vihayo Mahapurushatam Gataha. You are living the mood of demon, and how I am watching that you are expressing all the mood of a great devotee. Mahapurushatam Gataha, Mahabhagavat. How possible? You are demon. Eh, this body, but externally. So Indra was also mad to watching this mood. So the conclusion is that though he was giving cards, all our Guru Varga speaking, surely there was no question of any offense, only it was one joking with God brother. Shankar Bhagavan, never mind. Even after giving cards, when Devi Ma giving cards, then he is coming, paying pranam unto a lotus feet of Devi Ma, going away. After he gone, Shankar Bhagavan speaking to Devi. After he gone, then Shankar Bhagavan speaking to Devi. You watch, you see the qualities of a Vaishnava. You give cards to him. He could also give cards to you. He is so powerful, could give cards to you, but not give him. Only accept him, give me cards. Okay. He gave cards. You see? Shankar Bhagavan speaking, those who are Guru Vaishnava, they don't care. At any situation they are put into, they feel comfortable because devotion, devotional mood is there. Same, Shankar Bhagavan speaking to Devi. You watch, you watch the behavior, I mean, so softness of this devotee. You give cards, he's not speaking anything. With humble mood, polite mood, going to pray, okay. 
but he could good curse to you. Shankar Bhagavan speaking, those who are pure devotees, they don't care. They don't care. Wherever, whatever situation they are put into, they don't care. That is called Vaishnava Devi. Look, look the acharan of that great devotee. Follow. So now question is that how it was possible for Brittasur to get bhakti? So I explain all the background this way. He was successful to attain that kind of absolute platform. So in this Britta, so Bhagavan speaking, Bahavu Mat Pradam Prapta Trashtu Kaya Dhabada Yuhu. Kaya Dhabada Yuhu, Dayamin, etc. So Kaya Dhunandan also. So Bhagavan speaking, Brittasu uh, also. Prahlad, etc. Etc. means there are so many things. If I go on speaking, it will be a big queue. So, in short, Bhagavan speaking, Adayo, I mean not that Prahlad only, after Vritta, Prahlad, so many. But Bhagavan is going to stop his explanation further. Go and speak. Bahavo mat pradam prapta trashto kaya dhavadaho. So how Prahlad Maharaj got bhakti? I mean, how Prahlad Maharaj was successful to get the lotus feet of Bhagavan? Because of the association of Naraji Maharaj. Same thing. Because he was successful to get the good association, Satsanga itself, when he was inside the womb of Mother, which is quite impossible, but possible. He was inside the womb of Mother, and that time, Kwayadhu was actually Indra Maharaj wanted to abduct. Indra Maharaj, uh, I mean, uh, I mean Kwayadhu was abducted by Indra. Kwayadhu was taken because he didn't know gone for STD and finances, doing tapasya, thousands of years. That time, wife was alone. That time, Indra Maharaj wanted to get this opportunity. And now invade and wanted to abduct Kwayadu. But while going to catch Kwayadu and going away, Indra said, Wait, 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 what we are we doing? Eh? It's not good. It's the wipe up. Oh, Maharaj, I am not going to do anything. Only inside is inside her womb, there is one demon. So I like to finish and let her go. No. One servant of Anantadev there, how you can kill? Live, 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 no, no. Eh? Para parigraha, muncha, muncha, pari, para parigraha. Is the wife of somebody? Oh, no, no, go, go, go. Then the wife, I mean, Kwayadu was left. Uh, then crying, Kwayadu coming, Kwayadu crying. I am helpless anytime, I mean, uh, demigods can attack me and kill me. So, Naraji Maharaj speaking, well, mother, you can come to my ashram. Naraji Maharaj taking to us, say, you stay here, very, without any problem, and go on hearing Harikatha. But actual motive was that, in the Maharaj, I mean, our, our uh, Naraji Maharaj wanted to give Bhagavad Katha instruction, Bhagavad Tattva Vigyan, to that baby who is there inside. Everything possible, because Narada Maharaj is not ordinary. Nadarsi, Devarsi, so powerful, so he cannot give. If Naraji Maharaj wish, if Naraji Maharaj from long distance give me darshan and bless, Bhan Maharaj speaking, Bhan Maharaj got the darshan of Jamuna Devi, Bhan Maharaj got the darshan of Naraji Maharaj, in course of his travel to I also went, but I couldn't get Agdarshan. I'm not so elevated. They got Darshan. Written in the way of my Vaikuntha, this book. Then one Maharaj writing, he meet with Naraji Maharaj, he meet with Jamuna Devi, with all Sakhi. Elevated there. I also got so many Kipa somehow. 
but not like one Maharaj is great. I am small, very small. So this way, actually, it is possible for Naraji Maharaj to give Bhagavat Tattva Vigyan to that baby inside whom. Why not? It's possible. So, by the association of Naraji Maharaj, he was a great devotee. Lotus feet. So, today, time is over. Uh, I can discuss it tomorrow in long. One by one, I can prove that how they got bhakti. Only, only and only by the association of satsanga. Only and only by the association. You can think that the guru of Prahlad Maharaj is Naraji, because he got Bhagavad Tattva Vigyan. Okay? But actually, main reason is that satsanga. Satsanga is the main reason, no? Satsanga, he got. Satsanga Harikatha. So, so today, you should remember all these things. Brisha Parva, Balir Bano, I can also go on explaining how they got, how they got the lotus feet of Bhagavan. I mean, I am not speaking, Bhagavan speaking. Bahabu Matpadam Prapta Trashta Kaya Dhabadayu Bahabu Matpadam Prapta Trashto Kaya Dhabadayu Vrishaparabha Balirabhanamayaschatha Vibhishanaha Sugri Vahunuman Riksho Gajo Griddho Vaniko Pataha Vyadaha Kubja Braje Gappo Jagya Patna Stathapare Tena Dhita Sutigana No Pasito Mahatamaha Abrata Tapta Tapasha Satsangyat Man Upagataha Only by Satsangya. All the procedure of dikkha, dikkha, everything over by satsanga, they. So, Vancha Kalpatur Vasikya Pasindi Bhavisya, Pachitanang Pabhani Bhavishnu. So, you see the magic spell of satsanga. It is not Rama, it is all fact. All fact. Satsanga. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Ram Ram Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Bol 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 Hari bol, Hari bol, Hari bol, Hari bol. Nitai gaur Hari bol, Hari bol, Hari bol, Hari bol. Nitai gaur Hari bol, Hari bol, Hari bol, Hari bol. Nitai gaur pe manandhi Hari bol.
మాంచగలుపు